The lambda CDM lambda cold dark matter or lambda CDM model is a parametrization of the Big Bang cosmological model in which the universe contains a cosmological constant denoted by lambda Greek lambda associated with dark energy and cold dark matter abbreviated CDM. It is frequently referred to as the standard model of Big Bang cosmology because it is the simplest model that provides a reasonably good account of the following properties of the cosmos. The existence and structure of the cosmic microwave background The large scale structure in the distribution of galaxies The abundances of hydrogen including deuterium, helium, and lithium The accelerating expansion of the universe observed in the light from distant galaxies and supernovae The model assumes that general relativity is the correct theory of gravity on cosmological scales. It emerged in the late 1990s as a concordance cosmology, after a period of time when disparate observed properties of the universe appeared mutually inconsistent, and there was no consensus on the makeup of the energy density of the universe. The lambda CDM model can be extended by adding cosmological inflation, quintessence and other elements that are current areas of speculation and research in cosmology. Some alternative models challenge the assumptions of the lambda CDM model. Examples of these are modified Newtonian dynamics, modified gravity, theories of large-scale variations in the matter density of the universe, and scale invariance of empty space. Overview Most modern cosmological models are based on the cosmological principle, which states that our observational location in the universe is not unusual or special. On a large enough scale, the universe looks the same in all directions, isotropy, and from every location, homogeneity. The model includes an expansion of metric space that is well documented both as the red shift of prominent spectral absorption or emission lines in the light from distant galaxies and as the time dilation in the light decay of supernova luminosity curves. Both effects are attributed to a Doppler shift in electromagnetic radiation as it travels across expanding space. Although this expansion increases the distance between objects that are not under shared gravitational influence, it does not increase the size of the objects e galaxies in space. It also allows for distant galaxies to recede from each other at speeds greater than the speed of light. Local expansion is less than the speed of light, but expansion summed across great distances can collectively exceed the speed of light. The letter lambda display style lambda lambda represents the cosmological constant which is currently associated with a vacuum energy or dark energy in empty space that is used to explain the contemporary accelerating expansion of space against the attractive effects of gravity a cosmological constant has negative pressure p equals minus rho c 2 Display style p equals rho c caret two, which contributes to the stress energy tensor that, according to the general theory of relativity, causes accelerating expansion. The fraction of the total energy density of our flat or almost flat universe that is dark energy, omega lambda, display style omega underscore lambda is currently 2015 estimated to be 0.692 plus or minus 0.012 or even 0.6911 plus or minus 0.0062 based on Planck satellite data dark matter is postulated in order to account for gravitational effects observed in very large scale structures the flat rotation curves of galaxies, the gravitational lensing of light by galaxy clusters, and enhanced clustering of galaxies that cannot be accounted for by the quantity of observed matter. Cold dark matter is non-baryonic, i.e. it consists of matter other than protons and neutrons and electrons, by convention, although electrons are not baryons, cold, i.e. its velocity is far less than the speed of light at the epoch of radiation matter equality thus neutrinos are excluded, being non-baryonic but not cold, dissipationless, i.e. it cannot cool by radiating photons, and collisionless, i.e. the dark matter particles interact with each other and other particles only through gravity and possibly the weak force. The dark matter component is currently 2013 estimated to constitute about 26.8% of the mass energy density of the universe. 
The remaining 4.9% comprises all ordinary matter observed as atoms, chemical elements, gas and plasma, the stuff of which visible planets, stars and galaxies are made. The great majority of ordinary matter in the universe is unseen, since visible stars and gas inside galaxies and clusters account for less than 10% of the ordinary matter contribution to the mass energy density of the universe. Also, the energy density includes a very small fraction, approximately 0.01% in cosmic microwave background radiation and not more than 0.5% in relic neutrinos. Although very small today, these were much more important in the distant past, dominating the matter at redshift greater than 3200. The model includes a single originating event, the Big Bang, which was not an explosion but the abrupt appearance of expanding spacetime containing radiation at temperatures of around 1015 K. This was immediately within 10 seconds, followed by an exponential expansion of space by a scale multiplier of 1027 or more, known as cosmic inflation. The early universe remained hot above 10,000 K for several hundred thousand years, a state that is detectable as a residual cosmic microwave background, or CMB, a very low energy radiation emanating from all parts of the sky. The Big Bang scenario, with cosmic inflation and standard particle physics, is the only current cosmological model consistent with the observed continuing expansion of space, the observed distribution of lighter elements in the universe hydrogen, helium, and lithium, and the spatial texture of minute irregularities anisotropies in the CMB radiation. Cosmic inflation also addresses the horizon problem. In the CMB, indeed, it seems likely that the universe is larger than the observable particle horizon. The model uses the Friedman-Lemaitre-Robertson-Walker metric, the Friedman equations and the cosmological equations of state to describe the observable universe from right after the inflationary epoch to present and future. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Cosmic expansion history. The expansion of the universe is parameterized by a dimensionless scale factor equals a t display style equals a t with time t display style t counted from the birth of the universe defined relative to the present day so a 0 equals a t 0 equals 1 Display style underscore zero equals a t underscore zero equals one. The usual convention in cosmology is that subscript zero denotes present day values, so t zero display style t underscore zero is the current age of the universe. The scale factor is related to the observed redshift z display style z of the light emitted at time. T E M display style T underscore mathrm M by one A T E M equals one plus Z display style one over A T underscore mathrm M equals one plus Z the expansion rate is described by the time-dependent Hubble parameter h t display style h t defined as h t a a display style h t a quiv frac dot a a where a display style dot a is the time derivative of the scale factor. The first Friedman equation gives the expansion rate in terms of the matter plus radiation density. Rho display style rho. The curvature k display style k and the cosmological constant lambda display style lambda h2 equals a a 2 equals 8 pi g 3 rho minus k c 
2 a 2 plus lambda c 2 3 Display style h caret two equals left frac dot a a right caret two equals frac eight pi g three row frac k c caret two a caret two plus frac lambda c caret two three, where as usual, c display style c is the speed of light and g display style g is the gravitational constant. A critical density rho c r i t display style rho underscore mathrm crit is the present day density, which gives zero curvature k display style k, assuming the cosmological constant lambda display style lambda is zero, regardless of its actual value. Substituting these conditions to the Friedman equation gives rho c r i t equals three h zero two eight pi g equals one point eight seven eight forty seven twenty three times 10 minus 26 h 2 kilogram m minus 3 Display style row underscore mathrm crit equals frac 3 h underscore 0 carrot 2 8 pi g equals 1 878 47 23 times 10 carat minus 26 h carat 2 text kilogram text m carat minus 3 where h h 0 100 k m s minus 1 m p c minus 1 Display style h equiv h underscore zero one hundred mathrm km s caret minus one mpc caret minus one is the reduced Hubble constant. If the cosmological constant were actually zero, the critical density would also mark the dividing line between eventual recollapse of the universe to a big crunch or unlimited expansion. For the lambda CDM model with a positive cosmological constant as observed, the universe is predicted to expand forever regardless of whether the total density is slightly above or below the critical density, though other outcomes are possible in extended models where the dark energy is not constant but actually time-dependent. It is standard to define the present-day density parameter omega x for various species as the dimensionless ratio omega x rho x t equals t 0 rho c r i t equals 8 pi g rho x T equals T zero three H zero two Display style omega underscore x equiv frac row underscore x t equals t underscore zero row underscore mathrm crit equals frac eight pi g row underscore x t equals t underscore zero three H underscore zero carrot two where the subscript x display style x is one of b display style b for baryons c display style c for cold dark matter r a d display style rad for radiation photons plus relativistic neutrinos and d e Display style or lambda 
display style lambda for dark energy since the densities of various species scale as different powers of a display style a eg a minus 3 display style a caret minus 3 for matter etc the friedman equation can be conveniently rewritten in terms of the various density parameters as h a a equals h 0 omega c plus omega b a minus 3 plus omega rad a minus 4 plus omega k a minus 2 plus omega d e a minus 3 1 plus w Display style H A equiv FRAC dot A A equals H underscore zero SQRT Omega underscore C plus Omega underscore B A carrot minus three plus Omega underscore text rad a carrot minus four plus Omega underscore K A carrot minus two plus Omega underscore da a carrot minus three one plus W where W is the equation of state of dark energy, and assuming negligible neutrino mass significant neutrino mass requires a more complex equation. The various omega omega parameters add up to 1 by construction. In the general case this is integrated by computer to give the expansion history a T display style at and also observable distance redshift relations for any chosen values of the cosmological parameters which can then be compared with observations such as supernovae and baryon acoustic oscillations in the minimal six parameter lambda cdm model it is assumed that curvature omega k display style omega underscore k is zero and w equals minus 1 display style w equals minus 1 so this simplifies to h a equals h 0 omega m a minus 3 plus omega rad a minus 4 plus omega lambda display style h a equals h underscore 0 sqrt omega underscore m a caret minus 3 plus omega underscore text rad a caret minus 4 plus omega underscore lambda observations show that the radiation density is very small today omega rad 10 minus 4 Display style omega underscore text rad sim ten caret minus four. If this term is neglected, the above has an analytic solution. A t equals omega m omega lambda one three sin two three t T Lambda Display style A T equals Omega underscore M Omega underscore Lambda carrot one third sin carrot two thirds T T underscore Lambda where T Lambda two three H zero Omega Lambda Display style t underscore lambda equiv two three h underscore zero sqrt omega underscore lambda. This is fairly accurate for a greater than zero point zero one. Display style a greater than zero point zero one or t 
greater than 10 display style t greater than 10 million years solving for a t equals 1 display style a t equals 1 gives the present age of the universe t 0 display style t underscore 0 in terms of the other parameters it follows that the transition from decelerating to accelerating expansion the second derivative a display style ddot a crossing 0 occurred when a equals omega m 2 omega lambda 1 3 Display style a equals omega underscore m two omega underscore lambda caret one third, which evaluates to a zero point six. Display style a sim zero point six, or z zero point six six. Display style z sim zero point six six, for the best fit parameters estimated from the Planck spacecraft. Historical development The discovery of the Cosmic Microwave Background in 1964 confirmed a key prediction of the Big Bang cosmology. From that point on, it was generally accepted that the universe started in a hot, dense state and has been expanding over time. The rate of expansion depends on the types of matter and energy present in the universe, and in particular, whether the total density is above or below the so-called critical density. During the 1970s, most attention focused on pure baryonic models, but there were serious challenges explaining the formation of galaxies, given the small anisotropies in the CMB upper limits at that time. In the early 1980s, it was realized that this could be resolved if cold dark matter dominated over the baryons, and the theory of cosmic inflation motivated models with critical density. During the 1980s, most research focused on cold dark matter with critical density in matter, around 95% CDM and 5% baryons. These showed success at forming galaxies and clusters of galaxies, but problems remained, notably, the model required a Hubble constant lower than preferred by observations, and observations around 1988-1990 showed more large-scale galaxy clustering than predicted. These difficulties sharpened with the discovery of CMB anisotropy by Cobe in 1992, and several modified CDM models, including lambda CDM and mixed cold and hot dark matter, came under active consideration through the mid-1990s. The lambda CDM model then became the leading model following the observations of accelerating expansion in 1998, and was quickly supported by other observations. In 2000, the Boomerang Microwave Background Experiment measured the total matter energy density to be close to 100% of critical, whereas in 2001 the 2DFGRS Galaxy Redshift Survey measured the matter density to be near 25%. The large difference between these values supports a positive lambda or dark energy. Much more precise spacecraft measurements of the microwave background from WMAP in 2003 to 2010 and Planck in 2013 to 2015 have continued to support the model and pin down the parameter values, most of which are now constrained below 1% uncertainty. There is currently active research into many aspects of the lambda CDM model, both to refine the parameters and possibly detect deviations. In addition, lambda CDM has no explicit physical theory for the origin or physical nature of dark matter or dark energy, the nearly scale invariant spectrum of the CMB perturbations, and their image across the celestial sphere, are believed to result from very small thermal and acoustic irregularities at the point of recombination. A large majority of astronomers and astrophysicists support the lambda CDM model or close relatives of it, but Milgram, Maga, and Krupa are leading critics, attacking the dark matter portions of the theory from the perspective of galaxy formation models and supporting the alternative Mond theory, which requires a modification of the Einstein field equations and the Friedman equations as seen in proposals such as Mog theory or Teves theory. 
Other proposals by theoretical astrophysicists of cosmological alternatives to Einstein's general relativity that attempt to account for dark energy or dark matter include F R gravity, scalar tensor theories such as Galileon theories, Brin cosmologies, the DGP model, and massive gravity and its extensions such as bimetric gravity. Successes. In addition to explaining pre-2000 observations, the model has made a number of successful predictions, notably the existence of the Baryon acoustic oscillation feature, discovered in 2005 in the predicted location, and the statistics of weak gravitational lensing, first observed in 2000 by several teams. The polarization of the CMB, discovered in 2002 by DASI, is now a dramatic success. In the 2015 Planck data release, there are seven observed peaks in the temperature TT power spectrum, six peaks in the temperature polarization T cross spectrum, and five peaks in the polarization E spectrum. The six free parameters can be well constrained by the TT spectrum alone, and then the T and E spectra can be predicted theoretically to few percent precision with no further adjustments allowed. Comparison of theory and observations shows an excellent match. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Challenges. Extensive searches for dark matter particles have so far shown no well agreed detection. The dark energy may be almost impossible to detect in a laboratory, and its value is unnaturally small compared to naive theoretical predictions. Comparison of the model with observations is very successful on large scales larger than galaxies, up to the observable horizon, but may have some problems on sub-galaxy scales, possibly predicting too many dwarf galaxies and too much dark matter in the innermost regions of galaxies. This problem is called the small-scale crisis. These small scales are harder to resolve in computer simulations, so it is not yet clear whether the problem is the simulations, non-standard properties of dark matter, or a more radical error in the model. It has been argued that the Lambda CDM model is built upon a foundation of conventionalist stratagems, rendering it unfalsifiable in the sense defined by Karl Popper. Parameters. <laughs> <laughs> The simple lambda CDM model is based on six parameters, physical baryon density parameter, physical dark matter density parameter, the age of the universe, scalar spectral index, curvature fluctuation amplitude, and reionization optical depth. In accordance with Occam's razor, six is the smallest number of parameters needed to give an acceptable fit to current observations. Other possible parameters are fixed at natural values, e.g. total density parameter. Topic 1.00 Dark Energy Equation of State minus one. See below for extended models that allow these to vary. The values of these six parameters are mostly not predicted by current theory, though ideally they may be related by a future theory of everything. Except that most versions of cosmic inflation predict the scalar spectral index should be slightly smaller than 1, consistent with the estimated value 0.96. The parameter values, and uncertainties, are estimated using large computer searches to locate the region of parameter space providing an acceptable match to cosmological observations. From these six parameters, the other model values, such as the Hubble constant and the dark energy density, can be readily calculated. Commonly, the set of observations fitted includes the cosmic microwave background anisotropy, the brightness-redshift relation for supernovae, and large-scale galaxy clustering including the baryon acoustic oscillation feature. Other observations, such as the Hubble constant, the abundance of galaxy clusters, weak gravitational lensing and globular cluster ages, are generally consistent with these, providing a check of the model, but are less precisely measured at present. Parameter values listed below are from the Planck Collaboration Cosmological Parameters 68% confidence limits for the base lambda CDM model from Planck CMB power spectra, in combination with lensing reconstruction and external data BAU plus JLA plus H0. See also Planck spacecraft. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Missing baryon problem. 
Massimo Persic and Paolo Salucci firstly estimated the baryonic density today present in ellipticals, spirals, groups and clusters of galaxies. They performed an integration of the baryonic mass to light ratio over luminosity in the following m b l text style m underscore b l weighted with the luminosity function phi l text style phi l over the previously mentioned classes of astrophysical objects rho b equals l phi l m b l d l Display style row underscore b equals sum int l phi l frac m underscore b l d l. The result was omega b equals omega plus omega gas equals 2.2 times 10 minus 3 plus 1 5 times 10 minus 3 h minus 1.3 0 0.003 Display style omega underscore b equals omega underscore asterisk plus omega underscore text gas equals 2.2 times 10 carat minus 3 plus 1.5 times 10 carat minus 3 h carat minus 1.3 simic 0.003, where h 0.72 display style h simic 0.72. Note that this value is much lower than the prediction of standard cosmic nucleosynthesis. Omega b 0.048 display style omega underscore b simic 0.048 so that stars and gas in galaxies and in galaxy groups and clusters account for less than 10% of the primordially synthesized baryons. This issue is known as the problem of the missing baryons. Topic: Extended models. Extended models allow one or more of the fixed parameters above to vary, in addition to the basic six. So these models join smoothly to the basic six-parameter model in the limit that the additional parameters approach the default values. For example, possible extensions of the simplest lambda CDM model allow for spatial curvature. Omega t o T display style omega underscore tot may be different from one or quintessence rather than a cosmological constant where the equation of state of dark energy is allowed to differ from minus one. Cosmic inflation predicts tensor fluctuations, gravitational waves. Their amplitude is parameterized by the tensor to scalar ratio, denoted r display style r, which is determined by the unknown energy scale of inflation. Other modifications allow hot dark matter in the form of neutrinos more massive than the minimal value, or a running spectral index, the latter is generally not favored by simple cosmic inflation models. Allowing additional variable parameters will generally increase the uncertainties in the standard six parameters quoted above, and may also shift the central values slightly. The table below shows results for each of the possible 6 plus 1. Scenarios with one additional variable parameter, this indicates that, as of 2015, there is no convincing evidence that any additional parameter is different from its default value. Some researchers have suggested that there is a running spectral index, but no statistically significant study has revealed one. Theoretical expectations suggest that the tensor to scalar ratio R should be between 0 and 0 0.3, and the latest results are now within those limits. See also <laughs> <laughs>